Hello, this is Daisy Tree Horses, and I just got a package in the mail, and I've been waiting for it for a while. And, um, it's kind of weird. Hold on. So, this is the box it came in, and it was left outside all day in the snow, so hopefully that doesn't affect anything. But the thing that kind of freaks me out is the animals inside of this box are very loose. They are definitely not secure at all. So, let me open this up. So this is the inside of the box, so. Ta-da, my cows, yay! So let me just pull them out of here. All right, this is the first Holstein. Um, this is the one I was most excited for because of her horns, because obviously the ones with the horns are a little bit more rare. Um, so I did not notice this. Like I know they were really used and gross, but like what in the world is all over this cow like brown paint or chocolate or like it's literally covered in brown i guess it's realistic i mean i guess cows look like that because all the cows i know look like this but um i was going to like fix this girl up so i have her in my collection without paying like a million dollars so, I don't know exactly what that is, but this girl is getting a good bath along with the calf. Because you should see the calf. I haven't even opened him, but I already know he's going to be disgusting. So, alright, this is the next girl. She is a Holstein, and I think she originally had horns, but they pulled her. I don't, like, look at, I guess I have to, like, turn her around. But it's a little hard to see, but it looks like they took her ears off and then glued them back on. But, like, the ears are cut so perfectly, it looks... Wow, it's really hard to see, I guess, because this is just an iPhone, so it's not, like, got the best camera. But, I guess... Yeah, you can see how I, like, glued them back on. That's very confusing. Apparently, they don't like horns. And then, she is in much nicer condition. She definitely doesn't have all that weird brown stuff. And it's actually, like, there's not a lot of marks. She'd be easy to fix up, but those stupid ears of hers that are, like, weird. So she's just going to be a custom. And another thing is that her leg, I didn't know this either, but it's, like, really warped. So I don't even know if she can stand up. I guess I'll have to go check that right now. So I put her in the window frame because it's, like, a, obviously a solid ground. So she can stand up on her own, but her leg is really janky very weird but I mean and her ears are really big I never noticed that about this these cows have huge ears what in the world all right all right and then the last of the cows is this girl let's see yep no she's got the weird ears too so I'm guessing the cows that originally have the the horns have the little ears which I like a lot better but so, she obviously is originally pulled. There's no glue. It's not like they removed her ear, her horns. She's in much nicer condition than all of them combined. She's really nice, actually. And her legs are decent. Yeah, she doesn't... She's really nice for coming in this a lot. So, she'll probably stay how she is because she looks really nice. And she definitely uh, needs attention and she's going to be a custom and last but not least this nasty little creature yeah so i don't really know what they did to this little cow if they like decided to paint it to, or what but like yeah they're definitely yeah just gross these cows are definitely gross but i feel like i could Maybe scrub it off of there or like get something heavier duty to remove it. But if not, I'll just have to paint this little guy. I don't actually like this calf mold that much anyway. So maybe I'd reposition its fat little head onto its body. I don't know. And then I'd probably make it a little bold calf because obviously he, she, he does not look like a little cute heifer. It looks more like a bull calf, like a, grow into a big steer, so... Alright, well that was my haul for today, so thanks for watching.